I'm going to try to explain the difference between image size and canvas size because a lot of students get the two of those mixed up. I have an image here I brought from the camera and I'll make a duplicate of it here, an image duplicate. And I'll take this one on the left and I'll go into image, image size. Now here I am in the image size menu. We've got the pixel dimensions up here at the top. This is five and a half megabytes and this is the document size here. Now if I take this button off, the only thing I can change now is the resolution and if I change the resolution that will adjust the width and the height of the actual document but it will not do any resampling. If I resample and I have it set in bicubic because it's a photographic image and I want it to be tonal. If I'm going to do some resampling, I'm going to be rescaling this image. So I'm going to rescale or resample it down to about, I can go to the percent, I could do 50% of what the original size was and I will keep the same resolution my height and width of my pixels are cut right in half and my total size of my file is cut in half. So now I have rescaled or resampled this image down by 50 percent. Now this image on this side I'm going to adjust the canvas size on this. So the canvas size is either cutting away paper or part of the canvas that I have here around the image or adding on if I could magically add on canvas to this image. I'll go to image and canvas size. <clears throat> now if I want to cut away some of it, right now I can change it here to percent, to pixels, to inches, whatever I want in the measurement. Right now it's 1600 by 1200. I could make it 1550 by 1150. And if I keep my little white anchor in the center, the pixels will come off equally all around my image. I get a little sign that tells me that some of my canvas will be cut. Now a little bit of my canvas was cut. I'm going to step backward and undo it and I'll go back into canvas size and this time I'm going to change the canvas extension color to black. I'm going to click my little relative button here and relative button will be, it says it indicates whether new size dimensions are absolute or relative. Let's say I want to add a border around my image of a quarter inch. Well I will then add a total of a half inch to the width and a total of a half inch to the height. I will keep my anchor in the center. My extension color is set on black and there is my border all around the edge of the image here. Now I can undo, step backward and I can go back in to canvas size and if I want to add something just to the bottom, let's say I want to add some white to the bottom, I will anchor the top and that way the extension will be on the bottom and I can add a whole inch to the bottom. So there is a white at the bottom of my image. I'll go back into canvas size. I'll anchor my bottom I'll add another one inch to the height of white and there it is on the top. Now I'll do it again. I'll go to canvas size. I'll add two inches to the width. I'll keep my anchor in the center. And there I have white all around on my image. And that's how you make adjustments to your canvas size.